Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this video, I want to show you a really cool trip that is going to take your beach photography to the next level. You see, the problem with beach photography is really finding the right foreground element. If you stay until the end of this video, I'm going to show you a whole bunch of tricks that I promise will help you to get better photos at the beach and get better exposure as a photographer. I believe in 2019, it is the best time for you to become a better photographer, a more exposed photographer, and I want to help you on this channel. Come with me in Florida, and I'm going to show you some really cool tricks. All right, so the trick is very simple. You see, the hardest thing to do when you take a beach photography is to find the right foreground element. Anybody can take a photo of the beach, you know, with the sand in the foreground or with some people. You know, you got a great sunset. Everybody, you see hundreds of people taking photos. But the photos that truly do well on social media, the photo that gets sales in gallery are the photos that have an amazing foreground, middle ground, background, a very clear message. And that's what I'm going to show you. So the trick that I did is I got really close to the water. You have to be careful not to put salty water on your lance. That's very important. But the waves are very small. And they look like nothing when I was shooting them from far. So I got really close to them. And I put my camera on high speed mode so I could take like five, 10 photos per second. And I was taking photos as the wave was coming. And I'm gonna show you the settings in one second. I'm gonna show you some really cool tricks on retouching them. But anyway, I took a whole bunch, like hundreds of photos, but you will see the result is really cool. And it's some of the nicest photo I've ever taken in this beach. Also, don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment. I read every single comment. Let me show you in the studio some really cool tricks. All right, so I'm back from Clearwater Beach and I really enjoy this technique. And the whole idea is really to get a cool foreground element. So, you know, by shooting at a high frequency, you can really, you know, have the wave coming towards you. As I said, I, one thing I want to show you is that I first was using autofocus and a lot of my shots were really blurry. So finally, what I did is I went to manual focus and on manual focus, I was able to, I think on this one, no, this was still autofocus. I was able to get everything sharp by, you know, being basically on the house, you see, on the house. So yeah, make sure you don't use autofocus. On this one, you can see the series was done with, uh, let's see the settings. So 1 40th of a second, F5.6 and ISO 125. That's a mistake. I probably should have been at the ISO 100. So let me show you how I'm going to retouch this now that uh, I showed you how I shot it. So again, what I was trying to avoid is photo like this, you know, where there's people in the foreground or even, you know, photos where you get, you know, some of these algae in the foreground, or even, you know, even if you're shooting and, and the wave are small, here's the issue. Compare this photo with this photo. I'm going to press the C mode so you understand where I'm coming from. You see, on the left side, I'm standing up, and on the right side, I'm, I'm closer. There is two advantages to this. The first one is the wave is bigger, okay? But the second advantage is, you see how the water has a lot of small wave? I call this high frequency texture it looks almost like you know paper you would use to scrap a, you know paint off a wall or something when here because you get closer the wave gets bigger so it's much more pleasant so that's one thing to remember it just give it a shot it's going to change the way you do photos so now how to retouch it well i'm going to give you some amazing free preset called my toolbox and you'll find the links in the description and basically I'm going to use my signature preset that I've used to do my Paris book, my New York book, my Los Angeles book, my Venice book. This is the actual preset I've been using, and it's only a starting point. So on this one, for example, I'm going to use a golden hour linear circle. Just so you have an understanding, the golden hour basic is just a basic retouching with golden hour in mind. Okay, then we have golden hour linear, which is the same thing, but it has gradients. Meaning if I click here, you have a gradient, and I click on this, you have a gradient here and a gradient here that you can change. And then we have the next one, which is golden hour linear circle. It's the same one, but on top of the gradient, you have a circle, which is there to make the sunset nicer, okay? And then what you have here is a dark version and a light version. So I'm gonna start off with the, maybe the dark version, or no, maybe just a, the regular golden hour linear circle. I'm gonna push my black point and I'm, so I'm holding the Option key, the Alt key on my keyboard uh, for this effect. So the whole idea uh, of the black point is you want to get like 1% or 2% of the photo, like just a little bit of pure black. What you see here is pixel, which are pure blacks. And what you see here is picture, which are pure white. But I don't want so much pure white, so I'm going to go back, maybe just a tiny bit where the sun is. 
and then I'm going to add some contrast. And so now I'm ready to do the local adjustment. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here on the sky. And usually on skies, I like to add a little bit of blue and a little bit of magenta. So that we have a strong blue going into the sunset. I really like that. And for the bottom, usually I like to darken the bottom. But in this case, I like my wavy water so much that I'm going to go the reverse. I'm going to add some exposure and I'm going to add some blue because water that's not blue is looks muddy, you know, and uh, maybe just, you know, add a little bit of contrast, maybe a little bit of exposure or not. And I really like this, you know, also sharpening is taken care of. I mean, every, there's over 30 sliders in this preset. You got to give them a shot. Again, the link is below the video. I might add a bit of vibrance, you know. And so vibrance is a personal taste. I like very vibrant photos. Some people don't. You know what? Here is a slider. On the right, very vibrant. On the left, not so much. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to go very light on this one. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the three next photos. And so you see, I started with a preset. And now I'm going to click synchronize. And I'm going to synchronize everything on the three photos except the brush. Oh, I forgot to do the brush. Let me show you. Yeah, I was like, there's something missing here. Well, I'm going to take a little brush. I'm going to make sure that flow in density is around 80. I'm going to add a bit of exposure, a little bit of blue, and I'm just going to paint on that wave here and maybe a little bit on the light here just to make everything shine more. And that's way overboard. So 0.96, I'm going to go back to maybe 0.64. Yeah, just to make the photo pop a little more. Let me show it to you in full screen mode. I think it's so cool. You should really go to the beach and try these techniques. You will love it. Okay, let me show you. Don't hang up yet. I gotta show you something else. So now I'm gonna synchronize all of that by clicking here on the... Um, so I'm not gonna use the brush. I'm just gonna click on synchronize. And by the way, guys, if you can take a second and like this video, it really helps me produce two videos per week. Just smash that like button and leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to learn. I'll do my best to fulfill your wishes. Voila, voila, voila. It's not so bad, but then you have to take every photo and you have to adjust everything. So on this one, I'm going to adjust the black point. So you hold on the option key and you adjust the black point. You don't want something like that's a little too much. And then you adjust the white point. And then I'm not, I'm not going to adjust this, but I'm going to adjust the circle, which is here. And honestly, the sunset got so crazy that I don't need the circle on this one. I, I'm just going to erase it. It just goes so yellow, you know, like a yellow that only Florida knows how to deal with, you know. But I'm going to do the brush, same value. I'm just going to brush a little bit here on the flow to make it pop and bring it back a little bit. And I'm basically going to do the same thing for this photo. So it's already sort of retouched. All I have to do is maybe just adjust the black point. And, you know, and you can tweak these presets to your settings. Preset is only a base. And then you just make it your own. You can even save them at your own presets. Presets will change your life. You got to try out. The toolbox I'm giving you is amazing. It's got presets, it's got textures, and it's got lots of videos to show you how to install them, how to use them. You got to download that photography toolbox that's below the video. It's going to change your life forever or not, but at least it's going to help you make better photos. And voila. And you know, usually what I do, so let me do one more. All right, so I'm just going to bring it down. Voila. And black and white. And usually what I do is I press, I select all four, I go into the survey mode and I put shift tab. So N and shift tab and I can see them. And I said, okay, which one do I like the most? I think it really helps capture this uh, beach photography because you don't have the high frequency texture effect and you have a cool foreground. Check out this video I did last week on Lightroom Mobile Edit. Uh, it's how to select your best portrait and how to retouch them. Check it out.